Well, hello everyone. This is Howard Martin, uh, Executive Vice President with HeartMath, and I'm very pleased to be with you tonight uh, and today, whenever you're looking at this, wherever you are around the world. Uh, because of the time differences, I've recorded this in advance, and I'm in my offices here at the HeartMath headquarters in Northern California. So one of the things that I've talked about for many years is the interconnectedness between all living systems, the energetic fields that connect every living thing on this planet, and how science is beginning to show that that's true. But I think in these times, during the COVID-19 pandemic, we are all beginning to experience that in a new way. Uh, many of us are in stay in place, including me. We can't connect with others like we used to. We're using a lot of mediums like Zoom, like we're doing today. And at the same time, I think we are feeling the connection because we're all in this shared experience together, all going through this unique time in human history. And so I think that, you know, regardless of where we are right now, regardless of how we are thinking about or processing the pandemic situation, I think we can all recognize that we are connected heart to heart and that we are unified in ways, in unseen ways, and that have yet to show um, the gift. For many of us, we are seeing gifts in the pandemic. We are seeing it as an opportunity to grow, to change, of a new world emerging. The old world we had will never quite be the same and that we are at the precipice of being able to create something new and very different. With that said, there are many people who are feeling fearful, who are feeling anxious, who are feeling in many ways hopeless. Certainly many people feel cut off, they feel isolated, they don't feel as connected. And all that's part of this experience that we're, we're going through as a, as a global society. So in a few minutes, we're gonna start our meditation and this meditation will be one of service, service to others, uh, to help people find and make peace with whatever they're going through during these times. And to use our unified collective heart that we will create in just a minute, to put that in service to others, to help everyone compassionately through whatever they're going through, as we all, again, are part of the COVID-19 pandemic. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'll remind you that if you have your global coherence sensor, you're gonna use it. You can start it now with or without your, your sensor. If you're gonna use that app, the global coherence app, it'd be a good time to get it up now uh, before we get started in the meditation. And while you're doing that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to share my screen. And I'm gonna pull up some visual images that have the words to the actual meditation that we're going to do. So as we do this, of course, um, anytime you'd like, you can open your eyes a little bit, see what's on the screen. Maybe that'll provide some, some motivation and some guidance for you. But what's most important is that we stay connected in the heart. First of all, connected to our own heart in its intelligence, and then connected and unified through the heart field that we all will create. And that connection is the most important part of what we would do, and it's the biggest service that I believe we can do for humanity right now. So, what I'd like you to do now is just get started, get settled in as best you can, and I'd like you to focus your attention in the area in the center of your chest, the area of your heart. And with your focus there, I'd like you to breathe feelings of love through your heart area to help set a calm and genuine tone. Now feel your heart connecting with others 
who are sending compassionate care to all who are suffering challenges. You see the power of the collective amplifying the effectiveness of your care. Stay with that feeling. Feel the connectedness between all of us across the boundaries of time and space. Whenever you happen to be doing this, wherever you are in the world, just feel that connection, that heart connection. Now let's send our most sincere appreciation, love and compassion to all frontline providers and those helping behind the scenes while risking their lives. See them surrounded by love, compassion and resilience as they serve selflessly.
Now, envision the coronavirus inspiring deeper connections among people and more harmonious cooperation for the good of the whole. See humanity transitioning into the crucial importance of love, compassion, cooperation, and heartfelt service for creating the new world that we now stand at the door of. Stay solidly in your heart. I'm going to read this last sentence again. See humanity transitioning into the crucial importance of love, compassion, cooperation, and heartfelt service for creating the new world that we now stand at the door of. Now let's close by radiating love and compassion into the planetary field environment. Seeing our collective heart energy easing and softening the mental and emotional impact of the coronavirus. Seeing our collective heart energy easing and softening the mental and emotional impact of the coronavirus.
you like, you can begin to open your eyes now. You know, thank you for your participation in this global meditation and especially thank you for your compassion and your care. I'm going to come back to my full screen now. Well, I felt good. I hope it felt good to you. Uh, certainly any act of service like that really helps. It really does count. It's, uh, it is making it in so many ways uh, easier for others to go through whatever we have to go through uh, during these times. And I'd like to thank uh, the people at MOM uh, and the people at HeartMath UK and for any of the other organizations involved in putting this uh, time together, this meditation together, and uh, appreciate the opportunity to be able to come and, and be a part of it. So I can also say that on behalf of HeartMath, you know, we wish you all the very best. You know, I think we just need to look at uh, staying connected as best we can during these times. Uh, never before has the term, we're all in it together, made more sense than it does right now. Uh, it's something that the whole world is actually going through. And uh, I do have compassion for, big compassion for the challenges that many people are facing as a result. And it's, the whole situation can be pretty tough at times. I also believe that we are standing at the, the doorway to a new world and that uh, we are creating this new world and how we handle the situation now. And once it subsides, once it goes in whatever direction it goes, uh, the world will be different and we have a chance to shape that world into something new. So I see it as a challenge. I certainly have had my challenges with it. At the same time, I see it as a, as a great opportunity and in many ways a magnificent adventure. So with that said, just know that no love is ever wasted, uh, that we are all connected, and that all of us here at Heart Math are with you, straight with you, heart to heart. All the best to you now, and take good care.